I'm not going to make any secret of the fact that I only watched Connie and Carla because of Debbie Reynolds. Despite the fact that Debbie Reynolds is only in it for about three minutes, her performance is fantastic, but actually so is the film. So I'll talk a little bit about Debbie Reynolds, um, her role in this in a little bit, but I just want to talk a bit about the film itself and why, despite what I would have thought, it actually really works. But I'm not going to give away any spoilers and it is fantastic. So this was released in 2004. It's directed by Michael Lembeck and written by Nia Vardalos, who plays Connie. Tony Collette plays Carla, and I have to say they're both brilliant, but Tony Collette is something else. She is... Her performance is absolutely fantastic. So the narrative is pretty outrageous, but it does work, despite the fact I didn't think it would. Connie and Carla are both singers. They're singing... In the beginning of the film, they're singing in an airport, and they're not exactly massively successful, but they are actually really talented, and that's one of the reasons why I love this film. We'll talk about that in a moment. And they witness a crime, and they go on the run, and they decide to go to L.A. And while they're in L.A., very quickly... The, they find a gig performing as drag queens. Obviously, they are women. So I thought, how is that going to work? But they just make themselves look like men dressing up as women, and actually, they look phenomenal. And the, most of the film is set in this bar, in this cabaret bar, and 50% of the characters in the entire film are drag queens. So if that's something you have a problem with, which I hope it isn't, but if it is, you're probably not going to get on well with this film. For me, obviously, that wasn't going to be a problem. I loved the performances. And that's kind of why I think this film worked really well, because while it is kind of like a gimmicky act, they are putting themselves through a lot of embarrassment by pretending to be men dressing as women, it's very uncomfortable for them, but once they get into it, as a viewer, you really kind of watch them shine, and they're, as I said, they're fantastic performers, and their vocals are gorgeous, and there are so many different songs in this from musical theatre, so if you love musical theatre, which I do, I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. There are some fantastic performances, just some really great songs that I love, and because the vocals are so strong, it's just so exciting. So the narrative itself is not exactly that juicy. They are hiding in LA, and I guess the whole point is, are they ever going to get caught? And will they ever, well, get caught on the run from the people who committed the crime? And will they ever get caught and called out as being actual women, not men dressed as women? And I wasn't that emotionally invested in the narrative development. I was just thoroughly enjoying the performances, and it is largely a performance-based film. There are a lot of clips from the shows they do and I love it and that's why I love it for me it really really works they got the balance there spot on and I have to say Carla gives the best facial expressions and there, there is some really kind of goofy immature humor in this as well which is not normally my thing but it's not over the top it's done just enough that if you don't really like that kind of humor you can ignore it and just enjoy the film for the glorious musical performances. So the film itself, good, acting phenomenal, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the costumes all round are incredible. They have some amazing costumes. A lot of the costumes in the cabaret bar, the gay bar, are insane. They are so amazing. And I, while I'm Going on to my next point, I'll see if I can find out who did the costumes. Um, so my next point is Debbie Reynolds and she doesn't appear until really the last, I'd say even further than the last third, but she's referenced throughout because Connie and Carla really like Debbie Reynolds and obviously having her reference makes me really quite excited. And the costume design was by Ruth Myers. Absolutely phenomenal costumes. And Myers has done quite a lot of very well-known films. Worth checking out on IMDb. Debbie comes into it and she is full of sass and she's full of life and she's playing herself. She is playing Debbie Reynolds and her character is great. I won't... Um, well, to be honest, there's no real reason for why she randomly appears. 
Uh, I mean, there is a reason given, but it's a bit of an odd one that probably wouldn't happen in reality. But there are a lot of things in this film that wouldn't happen in reality. But Debbie's performance is amazing. We do get to see her on stage, and she is wearing the most fantastic head-to-toe in glitter costumes. She looks beautiful, so breathtaking, so phenomenal, a true star, a real performer. If you didn't know, I'm very smitten with her. I love her a lot. So even though she was only in it for a small amount, didn't have a major role, um, her performance was so gorgeous, it was completely worth the wait. But the film itself actually really surprised me by being really quite fantastic. I think it's a film I'd have to be in the mood for, because it's, I think I was in a bad mood watching it, there may be elements of it that I didn't agree with, but it is actually just really good fun. Um, they try to run a subplot through it with this um, other character who I wasn't really bothered about, but for the most part they hit the nail on the head with this and if you haven't seen it, you must. Even if you don't really watch Debbie Reynolds films, there, obviously there are so many things in this that you will love. I promise Connie and Carla will not let you down. <laughs>